what is up guys this is Karan here welcome back to tech Karan youtube channel you already got to know that miui 12 official india global stable based on android version 11 is finally available for redmi note 9 pro users if you are redmi note 9 pro cortana user then you may get this ota update soon if you didn't got it the link for that ota update is in the description how you can manually ota update that how you can manually update that just download a zip file go to let me show you where you have to go here just go here and what you have to do is tap seven times here and additional update features will be on now and after that go here and what you have to do is choose update package choose update package i'll provide the link in the description choose that and you can update it manually to the latest android 11 make sure to take a proper backup instead of anything something goes wrong this is quite great even some devices didn't got the miui 12 update based on android version 10 and redmi note 9 pro Finally got the new A12 update based on Android version 11. We have some little bit of new things here and there. Let's find out. Okay, guys, first of all, the one of the main thing, one of the new thing is Android version 11. We already know about that. And the thing is Android security update is of 1st of October 2020 which should be at least November, but it's October 2020. Some devices already got the November security patch, but Redmi Note 9 Pro officially users now got Android 11 update with the October security patch. But the thing is Android 11 is Android 11, has all the Android 11 features available. We already know about that. Talking about the things, I already shown you how you can update that manually. And the thing is, it's global India stable, so all the Indian apps are available. The theme store is in Indian language, and if you go for the My Page and Themes option, as expected, no option of importing themes is available, which was expected also. But you can use a lot of themes available in the theme store, like I have also applied the Destro OS. If you don't know about this theme, you can get this theme on the theme store without any issues. Just for, search for this, and this kind of UL will be you will be get there easily. And now let's move on to some things which you get here. Android 11 update, but no major things are available. If you go for the camera options, we have same kind of camera UI, which has just click on allow and only while using the app, which is a new thing. We already know about that or only this time new permissions. So you can use this whatever else you want to. And you have the option of choosing the more where you have the documents, panorama, time lapse, AI watermark, slow motion, short video, and some things like that. And if you talk about some new features which you get here, almost everything seems different but same also. Let me tell you one thing. First of all, it has a little bit of bugs. The first major bug which I saw as we have enabled the control center. Okay, so just go for your notifications and control center and in smart home, just choose to none. If you choose the Android or Easter egg, your control center will be forced stopped here and then it will not work for you. So what you have to do is you just have to force stop. You just have to choose a smart home option to none and then everything seems fine. Okay, if we move to some features, if you go for the Wi-Fi options, here we have the scanning option available now. You can simply scan a QR code to join Wi-Fi, which is something new feature available here. Going for the lock screen, have almost same features as expected. If you go for the lock screen, let me tell you how the lock screen UI will look like. I've applied the themes, by the way, so I cannot show you. We have the things in display options. If you go for the display, you might see something new here, font and text size. By default, it was at system fonts in Android version 10. Now we have the only font font option available which you can customize of course and if you go for the text size which was not present in the stock india stable MIUI 12 for Redmi Note 9 Pro users also all Android 10 based users now it is available to customize a text size which was not available but other things you can see there's no option of choosing the notifications and control center from here but we have the extra menu in here and if you go for the sound and vibration what I saw a new change is the sound assistant which was not present there what is this actually whenever you open any kind of music player or YouTube or whatever else like that you'll be able to adjust sound particularly for that app which is quite impressive for example let me show you by opening my music player so that you'll get an idea let me show you by going into my music player so that first of all I have to agree this I've just tried it right now so I have not used it for past long times so just click on I agree and I have to allow all the permissions and back and here if I go to this music player like this, so first of all, let me show you this kind of thing. So if I open this, 
and what I will see is you'll see option like this if I choose this I have the option to choose this music volume less or down or whatever else or even I can control the whole volume which is a new kind of feature which is the sound assistant available in this latest Android 11 update which was not available in Android 10 of course and if you go for other things sound assistant I already shown you and we have the silent mode and also silence media in silent mode is a new thing which was not present in android 10 vibrate in silent mode haptic feedback as expected all the th other things seems same if you go for the notifications and control center if you go for the notification shade miui and android lyric customizations are available control center style which you can uh, automatically adjust to old version or new version and no option of switching the control center side which was the feature available in android 10 beta rooms or custom rooms but not in the india stable but in this india stable we have new ui called old version or the new version which is present in this latest android 11 and my suggestion is not to use android or easter egg smart home from here because that will crash your control center and this will be a bug this is uh, this is actually a bug and this will be an issue for you so don't use that i just recommended you and also item shows in lock screen when customize the control center if you want in your lock screen or not depends upon you and if you go for the status bar nothing new here almost same kind of customizations and things out there Home screen also include the app drawer as expected and system navigation options are available which was available in the full screen display in additional settings. Now it's available here at the home screen where you can adjust the system navigation with gestures or buttons and full screen indicator is available in this but no option of choosing this Google Assistant from past sides but it's okay that doesn't matter actually and home screen layout which you can adjust to 4x6 or 5x6. Going for the home screen customization, this has the option whenever you set up your device for the first time, you will have the option of choosing the home screen with classic or with app drawer. If you choose the with app drawer, we have some little bit of customizations here too, like manage app categories, background and scroll bar and little bit of things here and there. Other things, wallpaper, themes, password and security has the same kind of UI, password, fingerprint, face and something like that. I'm just using it from just past two or three hours, just released two, three hours ago and I'm using that from some time. So cannot say about full things about battery drainage and something like that. We have to wait for that and we have to go in depth of this build so that we'll get an idea. But Android R based Mino 12 is available for Redmi Note 9 Pro users is automatically a very interesting thing. This is all from today's video how to install that as I already shown you just go and follow those steps and you'll be able to install a MIUI Android 11 update MIUI 12 Android 11 update. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.